Hey everyone, it's Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas, and this video is about the seven weirdest succulents in my collection. And the first one I'm going to show you guys is one of my newer plants, and I've wanted it for a really long time. It's Euphorbia Abdul Curry. That's Euphorbia Abdul Curry, and it's so cool. It's just, it's a columnar Euphorbia, and up close when you look at it, it just looks like stone or something. It looks ancient and it doesn't look like something, it doesn't look like a plant. It's pretty, pretty awesome. And when I got this, I wasn't aware that a lot of times these have been grafted because they're hard to get to root. But when I went to repot it, luckily it is on its own roots, which is really awesome. And I got it at a local succulent and society sale so I know the grower and I know they're very reputable and uh, they did a great job getting this guy propagated and on its own roots so what are we looking at next oh yeah this one is Euphorbia platyclata and that is definitely a freak show in a pot right there it's like pink greenish gray splotchy it's really, really weird. Oh, and the fun thing about this, its common name is a dead plant. Yes, that's right, dead plant. Definitely cool to look at. A little hard to get a picture of, but very fun plant. All right, and this one, this one's really funny. This is Ficus petiolaris. Number three, Ficus petiolaris. It's basically I count it as one of my stick plants. I have a few plants that are not much more than a stick, but look, this one has a little fat cat codex, which I really love. And it's just stick, and then we push it out in some new leaves. I um, might hard prune that down, but I just like looking at it the way it is. Very Dr. Seuss, in my opinion. And number four is gonna be Peniocereus striatus, and it's just this weird long all up in everybody's business. And I haven't had it flower yet, it just keeps getting longer. But the flowers are supposed to be really beautiful, and the markings on it are really, really nice. Very special. I really like this one, even though it's like always in the way. <laughs> so, moving on to one of my favorites that a very nice lady sent me, Euphorbia Spectabilis. And I like the name almost as much as I like the plant. It's so Spectabilis, don't you agree? And <clears throat> right now, it's only got a few leaves. It is, uh, it tends to drop its leaves in the heat or in you know the winter time, but they always grow back. And right now it's so hot, it's definitely gonna take its sweet time to push out some of the new leaves, but the codex on it is amazing and I've got a picture of that when I repotted it last time look at those gnarly roots gosh I really 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 love a fat codex and these are its leaves just gorgeous gorgeous so much color texture pizzazz that's why it's called Euphorbia Spectabilis I guess um, okay, this one's fun. I made a video about this one before. It's Acanthocereus tepulcatapacanus. And yes, I practiced saying that before I made this video. Acanthocereus tepulcatapacanus. And it's so weird. And it just kind of hangs like this. It's creepy and it's kooky. And I love it. And I. I have a feeling a lot of you guys are going to say, hey, that's definitely the weirdest. Easy. Now, for those of y'all who've been following me for a long time, this is the stick plant. The original stick plant. It's the good stick, the good stick plant. And it's Aludia dumosa. And I've had it for like six or seven years now. And this is basically just has gotten longer taller, I mean. Well, and the branch has gotten longer. It was only about that high when I got it. And then 
it's got some new growth up here and then every now and then it puts out a teeny tiny little leaf it's never flowered it's got some cool little like thorns on it but that's about all it does and yeah it's in competition for being in the way <laughs> uh, with the uh, Pinocerius dryadus but let me know which one you think is the weirdest leave your choice in the comments below and thanks so much for watching stay cool out there guys oh yeah don't mind the noise in the background it's just a jazz band upstairs my son playing with his friends <laughs>